I noticed some tracks here along the drag. The dog tracks there, at least two. One on that side. One there. One over there. Could even be two here. Good stuff. Right on. We've got a trap not far up ahead of us here now. Actually three traps up here. So we might be in luck. Fingers crossed. I get up here to this trap site and there's no dog sign on the road. They've left the road, they might have dropped down over here somewhere. Rats, nothing's touched that at all. Missed out, missed out boys. Nothing, nothing either. Missed them, they've deviated off the track, gone along the track for a little bit and then they've, they've dropped away. Nothing. And nothing. I got the kookaburras turned up. Look at them. Oh, we've had 20 kookaburras here. I might not be calling in a dingo, but I'll certainly get these kookaburras turned up. The old one arm. <laughs> What's so funny, skunk? There's kookaburras coming from everywhere. Yeah, I used one of these Scotch predator calls to great use years ago when they first came out. We've got quite a few foxes and dogs with them. But we realised that they were actually, actually educating the dogs. You'd get three or four dogs come in at you, full bore, full rip. You know, they'd be leaving a vapor trail, they'd be coming that fast. And you could usually flatten the first one, sometimes get a second one, but there was always one or two that would get away. And the more we did it, the more we educated some dogs, the ones that survived. After a while, nothing would come near you. You, know, you try this thing, nah, they just go the other way. And it's probably the same here. Certainly a, bit of, certainly a bit of fun here with the kookaburras, eh? they got stirred up. Uh, it's great to see so many of them in the one place, old kookaburras. They're very healthy in this gully. I'd hate to be a marsupial mouse or a, or a you know, fusky gull or anything, any small marsupial lizard or little snake or anything around here because you'd be at. This is the biggest pack of vultures. People don't realise just how much of a predator the old kookaburra is. Uh, the people that probably do are the ones that have got them in, I think it's Western Australia, that they are actually uh, were introduced and uh, you can shoot them on sight over there because they, uh, they cause so much damage. The humble old kookaburra. They'll eat just about anything. Okay, we had a, we had a trap up here on the side of the road on a drag and it's gone and that's where it was hunt him up hunt him up skunk hunt him up over here hunt him up good boy good boy hunt him up hunt him up hunt him up here we go skunk over here bud skunk About the barrel, everybody. It rain in the end of my end of my uh, container, and the barrel of my rifle has got rust on it. Skunk in the road. Skunk. Sit, sit, sit. Right, I
this is his dog. It's probably an 18 month old bitch. Um, you remember I had one trap there that the uh, dogs had started to scratch out. And I put another trap as a blind trap to one side of it. Anyway, it's caught it in the original trap. It's come back and the second one's gone off and it's just dragged that with it. It's only come probably uh, 17 metres, 18 metres. Hit the start of the uh, Burrum bush here and the panic grass and uh, that's as far as it's gone. That's good, that brings up number seven, seven in five nights. Uh, and the rain's coming in, but uh, we've got like one trap to go, one trap to check. Uh, one where we caught actually a young dog like this um, two nights ago. But uh, yeah, pretty good. We, we're doing well, and I reckon there's another six or eight dogs on the line now. If this rain is coming down, it's like 100% humidity, it's just rain coming out of nothing. We'll see. It gets me cranky sometimes when I hear people that haven't been out in the bush and experienced it. When they start getting into people like myself about how we're going to kill the dingoes out, how we're going to wipe these dingoes out, how terrible, you know, these are the alpha predator and they're this and they're that. And they're... Have a look up here. Just have a look up here. This country, it is beautiful. There's, it is absolutely beautiful. There is gorges that run here for mile after mile after mile. There's nothing in it, right? They don't run cattle there. There might be a few bullocks, a few scrub bulls, whatever, kicking in that. That is home to wild dogs. And they're the dogs that don't come down and harass the, uh, the calves. They're up there killing wallaroo and wallabies, whippies. And basically behaving themselves. Unfortunately, the overflow of them comes down and comes down into the cattle country, right? So we're trying to strike a balance by taking the ones that are down here causing trouble, keeping the pressure on them, trying to strike that balance. But for me, these ones out here in this rough country, they can stay there. Let them stay there. I'm happy with them there. This is fantastic. It's not some terrible national park park that's breeding up pests i see it as a home for the true native dog right the one that wants to behave himself stay up there right no problems at all and it's a refuge for so many other creatures now i'd rather be trapping here you can switch it on switch it off just by pulling your traps out bang done the pressure is on to do widespread aerial baiting. So you get up there with your 1080 and you um, bait the heck out of all this country. I think that's going too far, I really do. I think we need to keep the pressure on here. You know, this landowner here gets me in on a regular basis and we just keep the numbers down. And guess what, he doesn't have any problems. He doesn't have to touch this beautiful country up here. He just leaves it alone. Uh, so instead of people criticising landowners, maybe look that there's a lot of landowners out there that are very, very responsible. They're wanting to do the right thing. They want to strike a balance. So give them a break. Get over, get over, get over, get over. The dunk is on all of these. Yeah, it's over Dogs, he dogs, here, here. Pat him up, pat him up, pat him up, pat him up, pat him up. Okay, more barking going on up over the top here, so the boys have got some more. Quick, where's the rest? Quick, hang him up, hang him up. Hang him up. Good boy, skunk. Good boy. Good boy, Brandon. We only got two out of that mob before they got ahead of us. 
if I had a camera malfunction and pulled me up, I should have actually shot two before I even left the vehicle. But anyway, I was mucking around with this thing and missed the opportunity. We'll see if we can pick them up further down the track. Two sows, we shoot just about every pig we see. We've got to get numbers down for landowners. Well, it looks like the weather is starting to close in. Look at this. All the cattle mobbing up. All around us. I can't help myself. Just one more trap. One in up here at this gateway. If I can get something to keep the cattle away from it, 